The water was very much a part of my life growing up. When we had the opportunity, having built our business in New York City, to relocate wherever we chose, we all chose Newport, Rhode Island. During the season, which is typically from June to October for us, we tend to be out on the water. And it was in that context that I came across Iris. Um, my first touch was really under the tent here at one of the galas. And I was so impressed, and because our philanthropy focuses on arts and education, I decided that this was an organization with which I wanted to engage. I see the true benefit of a hands-on education as it's taught and promoted at IRIS in terms of you know, fulfilling a basic need that the ocean state has in connection with the marine industries. Because education is not a one-size-fits-all. And the marine industry and the applications that IRIS teaches for the marine industry in terms of kind of design and materials and technique can be kind of played forward in a larger context to broader industry around the globe. I came in, walked along the catwalk, and just knew that when I retired from the police department that this is where I was gonna be. And 15 years later, here I am, fulfilling that dream. I never lose a kind of a sense of awe um, in that an institution which is so closely aligned with boat building and marine operations is sitting kind of cheek to jowl with one of the most important harbors and sailing centers in this country, probably in the world. And being able to experience that in this glorious space and on this wonderful waterfront, um, I, I find not only refreshing, but renewing. Whether it's first thing in the morning when there's nobody here, or whether it's after everybody is gone and you're still just touching up a project, you can't help but just look around the place and just sort of be in awe. You, if it's the thing that you love, you look around and you gotta kind of pinch yourself. You're like, how the heck did I end up here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. look, there are these beautiful boats. Everybody's working. You can smell the cedar. There's the steam box going. There's, you know, there's shavings all over the ground. And, it just, there's just no better place to be.